Hey guys, we are halfway through National Family History Month in Australia already, which is ridiculous. I hope you have all managed to find some fun things to do. Um, you all know that I kind of love genie memes. So when Pauline, aka Cass Mob, wrote up a genie meme for National Family History Month the other day, I kind of got a little bit excited. So I'm going to do it right now. And there's 20 questions. So question one, what are you doing for National Family History Month? I am doing some indexing. I am going to be listening to a few webinars this weekend. I've got Shauna Hicks, who's doing one with my heritage. And I'm also um, doing Thomas McEntee's Blogger Bootcamp, which, is, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully going to learn a lot of new things about Blogspot and things like that. Um, I'm also hoping to go to South Brisbane Cemetery at some point. The weather at the moment this weekend is rain. Um, so that's not really helpful, but maybe the weekend after I might try. I don't know. And I'm also going through Shauna's uh, 31 activities for researchers as well. So I'll put the links to all those below as well if you want to check them out. Question two, what do you hope to learn in National Family History Month? Um, anything and everything really. Question three, do you research at a family or local history library? Currently, I do not. Question four, do you do all your research online? Currently, yes, I do. Um, mainly because my Australian side comes from New South Wales and then my American side obviously is over in America um, and I live in Queensland, so I don't really have access to physical, to a lot of physical documents relating to those areas. Um, although I have previously done research at the New South Wales State Record slash Archives place too, when I've been there in the past. Question five, what is your favourite place to store your family tree? I only have my tree on ancestry.com.au at the moment. Um, I also have a subscription to my heritage as well which I need to make use of because I haven't used it, so yeah. If offline, which genealogy program do you use? Um, I do have Family Tree Maker. I had it on uh, one of my old computers before we moved houses. Um, that computer, um, I don't know what happened to it, um, but my laptop doesn't have a CD drive, so... Yeah, but I do plan on downloading it from Ancestry.com because I was really happy when they really like um, made it possible to download it from their website now. So I just need to get around to doing that. So yeah, that's that. Um. Oh yeah, but I am interested in looking at like other programs and like legacy or things like that. So just need to do more research. And but I'll probably stick with Family Tree Maker for the time being. Question seven, how do you preserve your family stories for future generations? I write them down, I blog about them, and I just make sure I've saved them on my computer. Yep. Do you have any special research projects on the go? Currently, no, not at the moment. I wish I did, but uni and work kind of occupy a lot of my time at the moment. Um, I guess my special, no. I was going to say, like, one of my special projects, like, one of my special topic, like, p people that I love to work on is my great-great-aunt Jeannie, because her story still hasn't, is not complete yet. Um, yeah, we will, we will see how that goes. Okay, question nine, what is your favourite family history research activity? Everything? All of it? Um... I I love conferences and seminars now because I've been to one genealogy seminar and I've been to a criminology one, which is really fun. And I'm going to Roots Tech next year. Yay! Woo! Um, so, yeah. And I really, 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 really love cemeteries. So, yeah. That's that. Question 10. What is your favourite family history research place slash library, etc.? Um, because I've only researched at the New South Wales State Records Archives thing, I'm probably going to say that, 
But the Queen's at State Archives is really cool though, so, but I haven't actually done research there, so. What is your favourite website for genealogy research? Hmm. Ancestry.com.au Woo! That was mildly embarrassing. Um, if you guys know what kind of tune I was doing there, put it in the comments below. <laughs> oh, and probably it's only in Australia, so. Yeah. Oh, and Trove. I love Trove. Trove is amazing. Question 12. Are you part of a Facebook genealogy group? If so, which one? Okay, y'all ready for this? <laughs> um, Gowan. Oh, okay. Gowan. I just realized I have a spelling mistake in my notes. Um. Gowan Family Cyber Reunion Group, which is for descendants, descendants of John Gowan and Edith Falk. They are my five times great grandparents from Texas. No, not Texas. Before that, I forget. Um, <laughs> the book of me written by you, the Next Gen Genealogy Network, Junior Bloggers, Dear Myrtle, Australian Genealogy, Texas Genealogy, The Organised Genealogist, I'm sure there's a few more random little ones, but they were the main ones. Question 13. Do you use webinars or podcasts for genealogy? Um, I've only participated in one or two webinars. I did do a Society of Australian Genealogists one when I was a member a few years ago. Um, but I've got the couple coming up that I mentioned earlier, which I'm really keen about. So, um... In regards to podcasts, I have not really listened to any genealogy podcasts. Um, I would like to get into that though, so yeah. Question 14, do you use social media? Hell yes! Um, I'm on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, I have a Google+, Plus, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and of course I can't forget the wonderful YouTube. Um, I love social media, so yeah. Um, question 15, what genealogy topic slash class have you learnt the most from this year at a webinar slash conference slash seminar? <sighs> That's a mouthful. Um, so I learned a lot um, when I went to the Unlock the Past seminar with Chris Payton and Thomas McEntee in February at the beginning of the year. I, that was really, really, really awesome. Um, I didn't realise, like Thomas talked about um, having a toolbox and bookmarks and I just didn't realise the extent you could go with all that, so that was really awesome. I'm still yet to post up what I actually learnt, so I should probably get onto that. Question 16, do you have a favourite research strategy to knock down your brick walls? When I have brick walls, I tend to just put it aside for a while, like it could be a few weeks, a few months. And then go back and look at it. And sometimes when you look at things for too long, your brain just, just your brain starts to get all frazzled. Um, so I've, so when you go back and look at something, you might see something that you've missed, or there's a new clue, or there's a new record available, anything like that. I also really really love looking at siblings of the person you're trying to find out about. Um, so that's how I knocked down my, my brick wall with my great great aunt Jeannie. I was looking at her siblings. Um so yeah, definitely look at siblings and their and surrounding neighbours, families, things like that as well. So don't just stick to the person you're looking for. Look spread out, spread your wings. I'm a bit weird today, aren't I? Hmm. Question seventeen. Have you used DNA testing for your genealogy? I haven't, but that is something on my to-do list in the next 10, 20 years, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I think it would be interesting, but um, I don't know if Ancestry, I don't think Ancestry.com have their DNA service available in Australia, so I'm just not really sure. Um, like, I participated in a gen chat a while ago that was about DNA, and I did learn a lot from that. Um, so I think, like, maybe, I think it's 23 and Me is also a good one, I think. That's what they're called. I don't know. Um, but I still want to do more research into what would be the best avenue for DNA testing. So, obviously, I cannot answer question 17, which is have, which is, ha oh, my bad. 
Question 18, which is have you made cousin connections through your DNA test? No, not yet. Question 19, do you have a wish list of topics for National Family History Month next year in 2015? More online stuff, more online webinars, Google Hangouts, talks. Um, Jill did a, Jill Ginny Oz did a Google Hangout at the beginning of the month and she's going to do one at the end of the month. Um, just more online stuff, especially for people who can't get to things. Um, I haven't been able to get to any physical things this year because of uni and work and transport issues and, th transport issues and things like that. Um, but I'm hoping next year, because I will have my license by then, um, and I won't have uni to contend with it as well, so it'll be easier for me to go to these things. So that is, that is what I hope for next year. Question 20. What do you love most about your family history research? Ugh. Um, all of it, everything, the searching, the detective work, I love, I love just searching and trawling through records and the detective work and all of it. Um, I could spend hours just searching and searching and searching, like, even if I don't find what I'm looking for, I will, the searching is really, really fun anyway, and you can find other records that you might find interesting, even though they have no relevance to you and your family. Um, but yeah, so that was the National Family History Month genie meme. <sighs> what am I going to do now? I am going to go out and it's really rainy here this weekend. I mean, I'm loving the temperature. It's like 18, 19, 20 degrees in Brisbane at the moment, but it's rainy and it's not really the best weekend for it to be raining because I'm going to the Brisbane Eka show there thing tomorrow. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying your National Family History Month, and I will see you guys next time.